What's up? What's up? What's up? What's going on, y'all? And if it's your first time, hit the subscription button down below. Hit that bell. Let it ring so you get notifications. And we got something coming to you every week, once a week. All right. Um, we're going to talk about these organizations and these um, um, clubs and these leagues that are using these kids for their athletic ability, but don't really give two craps about them. Let's go. For me, it was, you were you were winning was was big, but even within that winning, the whole process of getting to a point where you won was a process. Notice I said process. It wasn't we need to win now. I don't care about at what cost. It don't matter. And what I'm addressing today is because um, I was checking my Instagram, and somebody hit me up. Oh, I seen something across my Instagram. Sorry, my um, timeline. And it went something along the lines where the, the comment said, your son is failing in school, but you still have two or three AAU coaches trying to reach out to you to get him to play. Hmm. Is that, if that doesn't bother you as a parent, as a human being, first and foremost, but as a parent, if that doesn't bother you or stir up something inside you, I'm wondering. I'm wondering about you. You. I'm wondering about you because at the end of the day, I have, I have children, I have kids, I have nieces and nephews, and that bothered the hell out of me because my kid is failing in school, but yet you're calling my phone, sending home flyers, asking this coach, asking this school person, asking this school personnel about my child playing for your team, but my kid is failing. I don't care if... Michael Jordan came to my house and was like, can Isaiah, Melly, Jeremiah, Maya can play? No. If they grades ain't what it's supposed to be, hell no. Like, it don't matter. I taught my kids to embrace those two words, and those two words are student, athlete. And I'll say to them all the time, what comes first? And they'll all respond, student. Okay, then. Enough said. There's no questions. You're a student first. And if you can't do the student part, then you can't do the athlete part. They go hand in hand. Night and day. Good and bad. Student, athlete. You can't do one without the other. That's how I raise my kids. Now, there are some parents that think different. And you know what? I don't know. Because I, I don't understand how your child can be failing. Failing. Not one subject, not two subjects, three, four, five subjects, and one in general, failing. But you'll pick up that phone when that recruiter calls. Or you'll have that conversation when that coach calls about the AAU team coming or, or the travel team. It's not even a conversation. I'm not talking to you about my kid playing on your traveling team and he can't do what he's supposed to do in school. Because at the end of the day, he blows out a knee, hurts himself, or God forbid, a worse injury than that. He still needs his mind to function in life. You see what I'm saying? You can put in a wheelchair. You can have a crutch. If your mind isn't working, if your mind isn't developed, then you're screwed. There's already enough craziness going on outside in this world. It don't make no sense that people out here are using these kids the way they're using them. But the worst part are the parents. The parents are allowing you. I don't know your situation, and, and, and I'm not knocking your situation. But as for me and mine, if you're not doing the schoolwork, don't think about stepping foot on that field or that court or that diamond. It's not happening. End of discussion, nothing to talk about. It is what it is. That's just my opinion. Guys, give me some feedback because I need to know what y'all feel about this. And I'll make this a part one and then we can have a discussion on it again because this is serious. And it's happening a lot more than what we think. It's happening right in front of us. This even addresses or this is almost a kickback off of a topic I had uh, during last year where I was talking about school standards and the grade system. Like, you, you, then I was talking, actually, you know what, check that out over right here. Oh, no, up here. Check it out up here. But I was talking about how the grade, the GPA average to play a sport was so damn low. This almost piggybacks off that from a different perspective. Because, like I said, I saw this on Instagram, and the issue was 
they're calling you and contacting you to ask about your son participating and playing. How about they call asking, hey, we got tutors and we can help your son get his GPA up or his grades up. Can he participate with on our team then? Can she do this then? Can they do this then? How about they come a little better, a little more correct? Just in my opinion, like I said, it's based on my feelings, my opinion. You guys feel otherwise, let me know. Like I said, I don't know everybody's situation. But I'm not pimping my kids to win now when I need them to win in life. Point blank, period. I'm just extremely, extremely, really, really, really curious. Help me understand, y'all. Like, uh, I'm just blown away. Just seeing that on on the and on the Instagram, and we're just like, wait, what? I had to, I had the screen uh, I screenshot it, ended up saving it in my archives because I wanted to re refer back to this later on and things of that nature. But the kid is failing. The kid is not doing good in school at all. And the recruit is still going out of his way to recruit him to help his team win now. What about five years from now? What about ten years from now? What about letting the kid know that his education is more important? Letting him know that his education is for his future. Letting him know that what he does now pertaining to him getting educated and whatnot and, and, and what goes on in the classroom is what going is what's going to sustain him for the rest of his life. He's not going to play basketball, baseball, or football forever. But I don't know. I don't know. Society is is society's different. Society's different nowadays. We we give the, we want these kids to do great in certain things, but we, we, we tell them it's okay to to I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm just drawing a blank right now because at that really that really got under my skin. I'm not even gonna front. It really got under my skin big time. What in the world have we come to? We would rather our kid be focused on winning. And yeah, we do in life in general of balance, sports, school, and what have you. But not one. And not the one that's going to make you look good now and does nothing for you later. That makes no sense to me. Please, somebody, comment below. Hit me up. Let me know what you think about that because it makes no sense to me. I'd rather you win now in the sport than to not get educated or be doing good in school to take care of yourself in the future. That is very, very weird to me. Let me know what y'all think, please. All right, y'all, I'm signing off. See you guys again next week. Every day is a new day. You only get one. So enjoy it. Peace.